skin cleanser is very beneficial for the skin. It's anti-inflammatory, anti-aging, skin softening, and soothing. I hope you guys enjoy this DIY. I've literally been working on it for months to get it just right. Soy milk powder is anti-inflammatory and it's anti-aging. It can help to prevent UV ray damage on the skin. It's also very hydrating and softening. Coconut milk powder is similar to soy milk powder. Plus it's going to add a creamy texture to your cleanser. Coconut milk powder hydrates your skin by holding in the moisture. Oatmeal is calming to your surface of your skin, plus oatmeal has saponins. So when it's added to water, it creates a soap-like substance. Besan, also known as chickpea flour, is well known in India in their skincare. People use it in facial masks and it helps to take off extra sebum on your skin. Fenugreek powder is anti-aging because it contains B3 that can help to heal damaged skin and promote new cell growth. Because of its antibacterial properties, it helps to prevent acne. Plus, when fenugreek powder is added into water, it becomes more of a milky substance. Turmeric, also known as haldi in India, is a very highly anti-inflammatory spice. It's well known for preventing acne, so it's also great in a mask. Plus, it helps to give your skin a beautiful glow. It's enough to get the benefits, but not to stain your face. Don't panic if you don't have every single ingredient. You can just use some of the ingredients you like. You don't have to use every one. I'm just mixing it with the back of a plastic spoon. Make sure you mix it so it's all just one solid color. Then grab your jar and start to pour in the product. This is enough to fit into a 2.5 ounce jar. Make sure you don't accidentally get any water into the powder jar since that over time can grow mold. Then just put the top back on and start to mix it up a little bit if you want. You can also take some and put it into a travel size plastic container. Then just take a small amount that you desire and put it into the palm of your hand. Add in some water, your desired amount depending on how thick or how thin that you want it to be. The more water that you add, the thinner it'll become, but if you add more powder than water, it'll be more of a thick consistency. You can even make this into a paste and use it as a face mask to help prevent acne. The second way to make my cleanser is just to have it pre-made by using distilled water and taking it and putting it into a clean cup. Add some rose water if you would like to. You don't have to add this. A few calendula flowers. They're very anti-inflammatory and help to speed the healing of skin. Plus reduce redness and irritation in the skin. White tea has more antioxidants than green tea, plus it has less caffeine. All of these ingredients are just to promote healthy skin. Take some of the powder that's already made, put it into a little cup. Then put a strainer over on top and take the steeped water and add it into there. Mix it very well. And now you have a ready to use facial cleanser. You can even add a little bit more powder if it's too watery. Mix it well. Take a clean container and add the product into the container. Now you have your own pre-made, ready-to-use facial cleanser. Both look the same, except one is already ready to use. It has more antioxidants than just the powder. 
although both are very high in antioxidants. Either one you can use, I just wanted to show you two different ways you can make it. This recipe helps to keep my skin supple and smooth, but to change it just do these things. Since Baison helps to take off the extra oil on your skin, add more Baison to the mixture for oily skin. For combination skin, I would definitely recommend using this as a mask once a week. If you add more oat flour, this will act as a gentle exfoliator. For normal skin, I wouldn't change it since it's already very beneficial. Fenugreek powder is very powerful in preventing acne, so I would definitely recommend adding that. Since this recipe already has anti-aging benefits, I wouldn't change it for mature skin. Don't forget to hashtag me, Steph Arizona Face Wash, and post a picture of what you made so I can see. So I'm going to be putting my hair up so that I can apply my facial cleanser. I just take some with a little scoop and put it into my hand. Then little by little I add some droplets of water. Depending on how much water you add, you can make a paste to make it a face mask. Or you can add more water and make it more of a cleanser like this. Then I just start applying it to my skin. This cleanser is very soothing and softening to my skin. I also noticed that it helps with redness. It took me a few months to get this recipe just right and my skin loves it. Even though it's made with a powder, it does not exfoliate, but you can change it if you want to make it exfoliating. I also like to add a little bit more water when it's already on my face, get it underneath my eyes for the anti-aging benefits. So now I'm going to wash it all off. I like to take some water in my hands and use the powder that's left on my hands to soothe my skin even more with the cleanser. Then I just rinse my face with some warm water. Then I like to pat dry with a clean towel. I never rub, I always just pat since rubbing your face on a towel can cause breakouts and irritation. Then I grab my macadamia oil. This is actually a DIY oil. I just reused a bottle. I pat it into my skin and then I'm done. Don't forget to hashtag me, Steph Arizona Face Wash, and post a picture so I can see it. Here are some more of my videos you can check out if you'd like to. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again. Bye.